is my review for Transformers Generations Lux Class Blur. Uh, Blur, as you can see, is a repaint of Generations Drift. And I have to say, when they first announced that they were going to make a uh, Blur toy out of the Generations Drift mold, I, along with a lot of other people, was extremely skeptical that they could pull it off. Um, because, to me, the Drift mold just does not scream Blur in any way. So I was extremely skeptical about them making a good toy of Blur out of the Generations Drift mold. But having this guy in hand, I have to admit, they pulled it off rather nicely. I still would have liked a brand new mold um, for Blur um, in the Generations line, but this guy makes a very, very nice uh, classics Blur, so long as you don't have qualms about the fact that he doesn't really resemble his G1 cartoon model um, and more resembles the IDW interpretation of Blur, and he doesn't have a very G1-esque alt mode. Um, if you do have those two qualms, um, I'll go ahead and say it right off the bat. Um, I would use your animated uh, Blur as your classics Blur. Um, um, but otherwise, I think this guy is a perfect classics blur. Um, anyway, not much to say about him in alt mode. Um, it's obviously not based off uh, his Cybertronian mode in any way. Um, it's more based off his Earth mode from the IDW comics. Um, it does roll fairly well, which is nice. Um, it's sadly not painted as nicely as Generations Drift. Um, he's missing paint on the hubcaps, um, which kind of uh, ticks me off. I always don't like. I always have uh, had a dislike for the fact that Hasbro almost never put silver on the hubcaps of Takar Transformers. But oh well. Um, I am glad that they didn't do the uh, silver um, that they used on uh, Generations Drift because I think that would have looked really out of place on this guy but I really would have liked it maybe if they had taken the sky blue color and put them on the hubcaps um, I think that would have looked really cool um, they also ditched the uh, they kept the uh, paint on the taillights themselves but they ditched the paint uh, that was on Generations Drift in this section in between um, and they still didn't paint the exhaust pipes which is kind of a shame but oh well um, if you really really feel badly about it um, I guess you could take a paint pin but I'm not not gonna bother with it um, and that's about it for vehicle mode uh, transformation you want to want to go ahead and uh, pull off his sniper rifle and to answer a question that a lot of you have been having yes it is made of a solid plastic rather than the rubbery plastic of drift sword which is nice and we'll get into that later uh, then you want to go ahead and take these wheels and pull them down you don't have to now but you might as well it does make transformation a little bit easier uh, then you want to uh, take the doors I mean, you want to pop them off to the side like so. Do the same on this side. Uh, flip the windshield in. Like so. Uh, then you want to take the front of the car. Um, you want to split it. Uh, then you want to take the hood halves. Uh, you want to raise them up and push them forward like so. Again, raise them up. Push them forward. Uh, then you want to take this whole back section of the car and you want to flip it down like so. Uh, split it. Um, then continue flipping it down to form his legs. Like so. Uh, then you want to take his foot um, and you want to push it up until this sky blue piece is flush with this sky blue piece. Um, do the same on this side. Uh, like so. Um, then get him to stand up. Uh, rotate the uh, sheaths around like so. Or I guess they're holsters really. Um, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, anyway, you want to flip the arms down like so. Um, then you want to take the windshield and you want to tab it in. And there you have Blur in robot mode. Um, now you do have a couple of options uh, if you want to differentiate him from Blur. You can flip these up uh, to give him more of an animated Blur-like uh, aesthetic. You can also, if you want, uh, flip the feet uh, down uh, to, so that it's like they're uh, in their transformed state. Um, and it'll stand just fine. Um, personally, that just doesn't do anything for me. I just think it looks rather stupid. Um, so what I usually do is I just go with the official transformation um, and just leave everything just like uh, Drift. Because I think, really, um, he's got enough differences. Uh, uh, you also want to uh, rotate these fists around. Um, he does have enough differences to kind of differentiate him from Drift. Um, like I said, I would have preferred a new mold for Generations Drift. I mean, uh, not Generations Drift, uh, Blur. Um, but I still think this guy is fairly nice. Um, I should point out that he does have a wonderful head sculpt. I absolutely love this head sculpt. I think it's really, really nice. I and mean, it has this very nice kind of smirk on his face, um, which really fits the Blur character. Um, it is, I should point out, more based off the IDW interpretation of Blur 
just like the rest of this figure, um, rather than the G1 cartoon model. Uh, but I think it's cool enough to where I don't really care. Um, I think it's really, really nice. Um, anyway, um, he's got the same posability as Drift. Um, his head rotates left and right and also goes up and down just due to the pin um, in his neck. Um, he does have ball-jointed shoulders. Um, he has a hinge right here uh, so he can swing his arm forward. Um, he rotates at the upper bicep. Um, he has a double-jointed elbow. Uh, he has ball-jointed wrists. Uh, Ball jointed hips, um, upper thigh swivel, uh, the knee bends. The feet can kind of be posed, they can go up and down, but really it's not very useful. And these pieces are on ball joints, so you can do whatever you want with them. Now, he does come with this sniper rifle, um, which is very large, um, as you can tell. It's also very nicely detailed, and I really like the detail in it. Um, it does have this little uh, piece right here uh, that you can flip out, um, so you can uh, have him hold it in various positions. I mean, you can get some really cool poses out of him. I usually have him posed out of where he holds it, um, like this. I mean, I think that looks really, really cool. Um, he also does, um, in his sheaths, um, with Drift, he had swords in these sheaths. Um, with Blur, you get a pair of pistols, and he can put the pistols in his hands. Um, I saw a review that said that they fit in very loosely, um, but on mine, they fit in rather tightly. I'm probably going to end up giving, uh giving these pistols to some other figure, um, namely, uh, Generations Grapple, um, is the one that I have in mind, but you can use them on, bl uh, dr uh, bleh, on Blur if you want. I mean, you can also, uh, something that's really cool is you can take both of them, I mean, can combine them, uh, so that it kind of forms like a, kind of forms like a, uh, giant, uh, sniper rifle of death. Um, you can also rotate them around so that they're more like a bipod, but I think this looks, uh, cool. Um, so I usually, uh, if I ever use it, um, I usually display it like that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and insert those back in. Um, for some quick size comparisons, um, first off, uh, standard size comparison. Uh, here he is next to Bumblebee. Um, so you can see he's a little bit taller than the average Deluxe. Um, also, here he is next to the original uh, Generations Drift. So you can see they're almost the exact same size with uh, Blur's head being a little bit bigger. He is a little bit taller. Um, not by much. Um, but like I said, they look different enough to where you really... Um, if you really look hard at it, you can tell that obviously this guy comes from Drift. Um, but just looking at him at a glance, you couldn't really tell. I mean, you could tell that they're two different figures, at least in the way I look at it. Um, and also, here he is uh, next to a couple of um, his G1 buddies. Um, first off, here he is next to Animated RC, who I used as my Classics RC. Um, and also, here he is next to the uh, Target Universe exclusive uh, Voyager Springer, uh, which, to my, in my opinion, is the best version of Springer we've gotten to date, except for the uh, Fans Project uh, Defender, uh, which I'm probably never going to get because it's too expensive. Um, and also, um, just for the, uh, the purists, um, here he is next to Animated Blur, which, like I said, I think... If you do have qualms and want a completely G1 accurate blur, I definitely would use animated blur as your classics blur. Um, because he does have a more G1-esque alt mode and looks a little bit more uh, like uh, G1 blur, um, at least in cartoon form. Um, I personally like the look of the uh, IDW blur. Um, so I really don't have issues with him. So like I said, you know, I was very skeptical about this guy, but he turned out to be a very, very awesome figure. I think he's really, really nice, and I definitely recommend you pick him up, provided you don't have the qualms that I've mentioned several times in this review. Um, so there you go, my look at Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Blur. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.